All right, this one is hot from Spatry's suggestion box. And I actually had to do some searching around on the channel because uh, it turns out I've never looked at this one before. This is the Zubuntu-based distribution, and it is called Voyager. We're looking at 1310 right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Here it is. Uh, on first glance, uh, I really don't like the wallpaper, but the good news is there's a lot of good choices here. All right, so first, I'm going to go ahead and open up a terminal to see how much memory uh, this is running. This is this includes uh, cached uh, memory as well. I'm going to run top, and it's telling me that it's using 599 megs of RAM. Not too bad. All right, and this is using the XFCE desktop. Okay, I'm going to right-click on this desktop and get rid of this uh, wallpaper because I really don't like this one. So we can go into desktop settings, and you're going to see they have the mother load of wallpapers in here. Lots of great choices uh, for you to pick out. So let's go ahead and maybe pick this one. Uh, nah. Uh, let's see what other choices they have here. But there's something for everyone in this listing here. All right, why don't we go with this one? Hmm, can't read Conky too well with that one. So I guess we'll have to pick out something else. <laughs> How about this one? Okay, cool. I can live with that. All right, besides, getting close to wintertime anyway for some of you. Uh, yeah, uh, especially if you're living up north, it's starting to turn uh, wintry. And this is just a little taste of what is coming your way. Old man, winter's here to stay, at least for a little while. Okay, and you're going to see that we have Conky on the desktop, pre-configured. And then on the bottom of the screen, you're going to see that we have Plank. Uh, you have Firefox as your web browser, a terminal emulator, quick access to Mousepad, which is a lightweight text editor, your file manager. Uh, Skippy XD. Let's see what this is. Okay, and all right. Uh, cool. All right. You can uh, collapse all windows, show the desktop. You get this Slings Cold. What is that? Huh. All right, cool. So now you have another launcher here that you can use to uh, get to your applications and that sort of thing. So this is actually, um, I guess, a fork of Slingshot or is Slingshot. It looks like Slingshot. If it looks like Slingshot and smells like Slingshot, it must be Slingshot. Okay, cool deal. All right, and then, of course, you get mini tubes so that you can watch yours truly or anybody else on YouTube. Uh, you get uh, quick access to the Ubuntu Software Center, and, of course, your settings manager is here, and then this, is, uh, this will allow you to kill Plank. Uh, and everything that you need to configure your system is located right here. Very nice indeed. Okay, and then, of course, it would be cool if they had included the whisker menu with this, because, uh, obviously, the whisker menu is, well, it just the cat's meow on the XFCE desktop, but it wouldn't be hard for you to install that if you chose to get it. Quick access to your web browser, your mail reader, your mail reader uh, and then, of course, the settings manager that I just showed you. You get a number of accessories with this, and they thought of pretty much everything. This is a complete operating system for you kids. Okay, so you get an archive manager, you get a calculator, catfish to do your file searches, a character map, a cover Globus, which is a really cool program. It'll pull uh, your album covers, and it'll pull the graphics off the internet for your albums and that sort of thing, which I always thought was kind of neat. Uh, Pingai OS always seemed to throw that one in his distributions. You get the uh, file manager with this. Uh, you also have a, a note-taking program on board, which is a, a nice on-screen typewriter. Orange Global Time Plank that we've already discussed, which is on the bottom of the screen there. Okay, uh, Synapse and a few other things with the inclusion of XF Burn, which happens to be my favorite lightweight uh, disk burning software. Okay, and you get Minds and Sudoku. Minesweeper, my favorite game, Sudoku. Haven't got a clue. Everybody's tried to explain to me how to play it, and it still goes in one eye and out the other. Can't figure it out. <laughs> it is what it is, eh? 
and graphics. You get Dark Table. You get a document viewer. You get the GIMP, G Thumb M Comics. Great for those of you who like to read your comic book collection. Although, uh, I think Evans reads, uh, comic books too, if I'm not mistaken. You get Restrao Image Viewer, nice lightweight, uh, image viewing software. And then, of course, Simple Scan. In internet, you get Firefox, as mentioned. You get, uh, Pigeon Internet Messenger, Polly, uh, Thunderbird, Transmission for all of your BitTorrent needs. And, of course, X Chat IRC. Join me in Linux Distro Community uh, on Freenode IRC, and we can chat it up. Hey, so you got that program so that you can do that. Okay, a number of things here uh, is included in Multimedia Clementine for managing all of your music. You get the Pulse Audio Volume Control and the Pulse Audio Equalizer. TV Video Editor, which is a great entry-level video editor for all of you novices out there. You can take your uh, family albums and that sort of thing and easily whip together films that you can show us on YouTube. You get Format Junkie, Free Tux TV, Parole Media Player, made by prisoners in New York State Prison, right? No, I'm just kidding. Don't know who made it, but you have that as an option. Also, you have a VLC Media Player, Midi, Minitube, as I stated earlier. You get Radio Tray, which will allow you to uh, be able to uh, pick out your favorite radio stations and play them in your uh, in your notification area. Cheese webcam booth, Voco screen for screen capturing, and then of course a simple audio recorder. You get a uh, little bit of an office suite here, not really like LibreOffice or anything like that, but these are all lightweight applications such as Abbey Word. You get the dictionary, you get the document viewer, GNU Merrick for your spreadsheets, Orish Calendar, and Orish Global Time, which are standard with any XFCE desktop. Okay, and and then uh, they have a bunch of cool tools that they threw in this as well. You have a firewall configuration tool, BleachBit, which is great for cleaning all the junk out of your system. Uh, you get Crypt Keeper, uh, a boot repair with this. So you could actually use this as a live CD to repair any boot problems that you may have on your computer if that is an issue for you. You have a disk management tool. You have a, a software update manager. Uh, the Synaptic package manager comes with this. A grub customizer so you can put the family, you know, you can put the family photo on your uh, grub or just put a picture of your cat or something like that on there. You know, kind of do some stuff with that fun stuff. Okay, and then of course you get Gigolo, GW Package Installer, uh, Backup Utility, Time Shift, and a System Profiler and Benchmark. Quick access to the Ubuntu Software Center is here. Uh, help the Zubuntu website. That's where you're going to go to get support for this because this has the Zubuntu base. You can also contribute to Zubuntu here. Now some thoughts that I had on this when I was installing this was that the fact that the installer had the Zubuntu install screens on it. I think it would have been nicer if a Voyager had their own screens during the installer to let me know what kind of features that this has that makes it different from Zubuntu, other than what I've uh, read on the screen here, and then going through and looking at the applications. Yes, I can clearly see there are differences, but it would be nice if they had pointed that out during the install price and process. But all in all, this looks like a really nice distribution for beginners to use. Uh, it's very nicely set up and laid out. And because it is XFCE, it does support a GTK3 theming. So you can go on uh, gnomelook.org and get some really cool GTK3 themes to throw into this. But going into the settings manager here... We already saw that there's a lot of wallpapers that this has. You go into appearance and there are a number of settings in here already. So you can change the look and feel of your desktop. So if, you know, you don't uh, like some of the colors, you know, you can go through these and change them. And there are a lot of different uh, icon themes that you can use with this as well. Elementary is a really nice icon theme that I've always enjoyed using. And when I open up my file manager, you can see the different icon sets that you have. Now, uh, the dark versus the light are going to change the icons on your panel, obviously. Okay, but you have a bunch of choices here. So this is something that you can use to really customize your system and make it your own. So what I've got to say on this, 
Nice job, Voyager team. Um, it's always nice to see a Linux distribution coming out uh, that brings something nice for uh, end users, uh, especially people that are coming over from Windows. Uh, let's see what this icon is real quick. Okay, we have a little quick launcher here to your uh, to open a folder, open a terminal, and uh, quick navigation to uh, other folders that you have on your system. Okay, and this is uh, the Slings Cold Launcher. Okay, which is a slingshot, of course. Okay, and then you have a desktop switcher at the top of the screen. Okay, that responded a little bit slow there. Okay, uh, you also have uh, a weather forecast. I don't have this connected to the internet presently. Your time, your mail, your Bluetooth, your Wi-Fi, uh, a volume control, and then a battery indicator. Very nice looking uh piece of work here so if you are new to Linux and you want to uh, have a distribution that's got a little bit of everything in it and a distribution that's gonna just work for you right out of the box this might be a good one to look at however this only has uh, nine months of support uh, so I'm dying to see what they're gonna be cranking out for us when they uh, release a LTS when the next uh, release of uh, Ubuntu 1404 comes out. Okay, well that's all I have on this. And as a reminder to all of my viewers, please support the show hosts who bring content that you enjoy. Please consider disabling your ad blockers. Peace out. Mm -hmm.